Good morning. In my classroom, we work. When you come in the door, when you hit that door, it's work time. Like, hi, superstar. Like, I'm excited about learning. You're excited about learning? Wow. <laughs> Why come to work and teach if I'm not going to really give them everything that I have to offer them? Are you going to eat breakfast? We got a long day today. You need some energy. We have to capture this, this zero to five moment. Because the brain is so ready to be wired and connected and to gain the kinds of specific information that it needs to gain. The writing table is open, art table is open, math table is open. If you trace down students who complete high school successfully, it begins with a quality early childhood program. It begins with a quality teacher. Families are coming to us with challenges. Some of them may live in poverty. They may be experiencing challenges with finding jobs because some of our families may not have a high school diploma. It's important that our teachers are aware of that and we prepare the environment, we prepare our instruction, we prepare our interactions with that in mind. This is your brave day, yay! What's this? A camel. A camel, how many humps? Two. Science, math, language, block play, all of these are experiences that will catapult our children into a level of learning and thinking and growing they would not experience if they don't have that kind of early childhood opportunity. So we're starting our study on what? Wheel. On wheel. If you're not an educator, if you don't work with early childhood education, you may think the teacher is just randomly doing something. So these are inches, so how many inches is that? But behind the scenes, there's planning going on, there's observations being written to make sure that they are really learning what they need to know. It's easy. Six, a zero. six, then a zero. I tell the parents, come in the classroom. You'll see that the children don't just play. They're learning. They're talking to each other. They're using words. And what did you say? No. He said no. If somebody says no, what do you need to do? Or when you finish, what can you do? I could give it to you. Let's put our hand on the heart. Feel. Feel. Is it beat fast? Okay, feel Michelle. Is it last beat fast? You know what? So I need you to do what? I need you to come. I'm always uh, in awe about what teachers need to know. So teachers must be well trained. They must be well qualified. In addition to that, it's important that teachers continue that process of learning and growing and developing. I think of like maybe um, something that you've worked on this year that has been challenging. We offer in-service days based on some of the things that they're seeing happening within their classroom with children. What also keeps them hooked as a good quality teacher is being able to turn to someone that is expert in what they're doing and can share with them information that can help them become better teachers. She didn't want to sit by this particular child, so we're doing a lot of like partner play. It was a big concern, but we can communicate very well with mom. Throughout the nation, teachers don't feel that their profession is that important to society. If the money isn't there, and if the recognition and respect isn't there, those are two big things that will move you out pretty quickly. Quality early childhood experiences have an impact in elementary schooling, in graduation rates in high school, in college attendance. I think you have to target early childhood programs where the need is the greatest, but at the same time, it should be available for everyone. If this is something that you want to do, it's in your heart, you know, and you're striving to be a teacher, a good teacher, you're gonna work hard at being good at what you do. It's a career, it's a profession. I'm not afraid of you. We're growing the next group that's going to run the country and the world. And how much more important can that be?